please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What up, what up, Jupiter? I'm Kirsten Fisher. And I'm Madison Glenn. And as always, we have your JHS Student News for Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. First off, we would like to thank all our veterans for your service to our country and to Jupiter High School. Shout out to Mr. Shaka. You rock. Keep popping off. Now let's get right into the news. The Young Republicans Club will meet on Friday, November 12th after school in room 3102 instead of tomorrow, since there is no school for students tomorrow. Then another announcement. There's no school tomorrow because it's Veterans Day. So take the time. If you have any grandparents who have served, I should, I should have said this earlier. If you have any grandparents, family members, friends of family, or anyone you know who has served, make sure you call them or text them in case if they don't like calling. But preferably call them and thank them for their service because that is the right thing to do. She Club will be meeting right after school today in room 4110. They'll be discussing ways to earn community service hours by helping women and families in the community. New members are always welcome and are encouraged to join the Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mrs. Muncie in room 4110. The Hispanic Heritage Foundation's 2021 Youth Awards Educational Grants Program is accepting applications until Sunday, November 14th. The 23rd Annual Youth Awards will award students who are the graduating class of 2022 with up to $4,000 in educational grants to fund their higher education or to fund a community-based project. Recipients will be selected for their accomplishments in the classroom community and for their excellence in various other educational categories. To be considered, students must meet the following criteria. Enrolled in high school and graduating in the spring of 2022, minimum 3.0 GPA, enroll at an accredited higher education institution in 2022-2023, be of Hispanic heritage and attend the virtual ceremony. Apply at www.hispanicheritage.org. Best Buddies will have a lunch meeting Monday, November 15th. We will hand out our t-shirts and make posters for our give back night at Culver's. Please make sure to bring a lunch. We will meet in Coach D's room 4117. The Star Party is tonight in Daniels Way parking lot between 6 to 8 p.m. Sports. Students, please come out on Saturday at 2 p.m. to cheer on our volleyball team in the state semifinal match against Windermere. The form is on the athletics link tree. The form will close Friday night at 8 p.m. and Miss John will send you an email confirming by Saturday morning. Also, check out girls weightlifting at 4 p.m. and boys soccer at 5.30 and 7 p.m. And now when we congratulate, congratulated, we're gonna start that over, but like we're not cutting it. You get to know that I made a mistake. When we congratulated all our swimmers who automatically qualified for state championships on Friday, we did not mention the boys. We went ladies first. And now it is time to recognize our amazing boy swimmers at Jupiter High School. So congratulations to Brandon Hebert, Hudson Bishop, Mason Taylor, Alex Nunez, Walker Reed, and Connor Chen. Everyone give them a round of applause right now. If I do not hear applause in the hallways t t like today morning, I will be very sad. 
Congratulations. Now help support our Jupiter Baseball student athletes. Our annual coupon cards are back and ready for you. When you get a card, you receive numerous sayings from area businesses, support our student athletes, and help out the Jupiter Baseball program. Get with any baseball player to get a card or contact Coach Muck in room 6215 or email via, or via email. Thank you and go Warriors! The new National Technical Honor Society members have been posted on NCHS Google Classroom. New members need to pay dues by Friday, uh, November 12th. There is a meeting today in room 4209 at 2.50 p.m. to discuss fundraisers, induction ceremony, and pick up your coupon books. The new Computer Science Honor Society members have been posted on CSHS Google Classroom. New and returning members need to pay dues by Friday. Leaders of Tomorrow Society meet Friday in room 4, 209 at 2.50 p.m. Popcorn is on its way. The Warrior Cafe Bake Sale will be out in the courtyard today during A and B lunch. Look out for specials. Take Stock Johnson Scholarship Program for 9th grade only. Applications are due Friday, November 12th. Turn in a hard copy of the application to Mrs. Wilbur, located in the guidance office, or submit the application electronically. Seniors, on your day off tomorrow, there are a couple things you could do. You could sleep in, relax, enjoy your day off, again, call the veterans and thank them for their service. But you can also, on top of all that, apply for the George Snow Scholarship that offers over 100, let me it backwards, 100, you know what I'm talking about, 100 scholarships in one application. Apply no later than February 1st, 2022 at www.scholarship.org. And now there is a car wash Saturday in support of the J Criminal Justice Academy. Students are selling tickets or you can show up in the JHS bus loop on November 13th from 8.30 to 2 p.m. Childhood Cancer Support Club's next meeting is on Tuesday, November 16th at 2.45 p.m. Members can come to Mrs. Rogers' room 7208 or log in from home. See you there. Attention all JHS students. If you're interested in planning, organizing, and helping with our blood drive, please join our Google Classroom. All Blood Drive Committee meeting announcements and important information will be announced there. Thank you all so much. Letters for Rose. Come to the club's third meeting today in Miss Ellis' room 4118. Attention juniors and seniors. Applications for the Social Studies Honor Society are now available and due by November 19th in Mrs. Hansen's room 6208. New members will be notified in January. Seniors that applied last year and were accepted do not need to reapply but please check our Google Classroom page in December for important information. Also, juniors and seniors, join the Science National Honor Society if you have met the following requirements. A 3.0 GPA or higher overall, 3.5 GPA in science classes, and you must have taken at least one honor science class or higher to apply. Seniors, if you were in the Science National Honor Society last year, you are automatically in again this year. Please be sure you are a member of the Google Classroom. Juniors, please join the Junior Google Classroom and fill out the Google form. You will also need to join the Remind. Thanksgiving Food Drive, Student Government, Key Club, and Young De Democrats Club are collecting any non-perishable or canned foods in rooms 4217, 6208, Portable One, or in front of the main office for donation to the Palm Beach County Food Bank. NHS has a three can slash box minimum. Drop off items to room 1155 during periods one through six and both lunches. Community service hours will be given for the time spent collecting items if you leave a note with your name, grade, and student number attached to donations. NHS is also collecting new unwrapped toys now through December 12th. Toys for children's ages 10 and up are highly needed, but toys for all ages are appreciated. Please do not send in any realistic looking weapons or food. Earn two community service hours and make a huge impact on the children in this county. The drop-off box is in front of the school, or you can bring it to Mrs. Sparks' room 1155. Tennis. Any girl and boy interested in trying out for tennis this season, please plan on attending the meeting on November 16th right after school in room 4212. Paperwork and important information will be given out. Any questions, please reach out to Coach Babcock in room 4212 or Coach Lang in room 4107. Ms. Buscemi's Spanish Two classes are selling handwoven bracelets and purses made by artisans in Guatemala and Nicaragua. Bracelets cost $5 and the bags cost $10. Each one comes with a tag specifying which artisan created it, and they all have unique designs. They will be selling them during both lunches in the courtyard today. And now the moment we have been waiting for, that is right, we have the birthdays of the day. Happy birthday to 
Jeffrey Conaway, Casey Cutchins, Deborah Fontanas, Anna McGillan, Paul Gillen, they're probably twins, hopefully twins, otherwise that was awkward, Michael Hardig, Madison Hay, Delaney Hernandez, Sydney Keller, Morgan Lurie, Marcella Meganelli, Haley Petroni, and last but certainly, quite certainly not least, Sophia Rodas. And now Ray Ray from yesterday's birthdays. You see how I did, you see what I did there? You see what I did there? That was awesome. And Ray Ray would like to sh Ray Ray would like to shout out all the birthday wishes he received yesterday. Now here, right here, is an amazing picture brought to you by none other, the king himself's amazing dad, Mr. Cola. Now, Holocaust Education Week. Check out the Holocaust book display in the Media Center. Right here we have a book. Um, it is called Mouse. We picked it up in the Media Center. It is a memoir about a Jewish survivor of Hitler's Europe and about his son, a cartoonist who tries to come in terms with his father, his story, and with history itself. It is actually a comic book, which is pretty cool. I thought it was a real book. But no, you have visuals. It's probably like some form of like an allegory or something. Probably. Great, I, I turned off like my academic brain about 30 minutes ago, so maybe it's not. But you should read it. And that is all the news we have for today. Any final words, Addison? Have a nice day, warriors. And, and now, oh. You want to say yeah. it together? You want to yeah, say I it together? Three, two, one. Now and now for, for your, your moment, moment of silence. silence.